Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Wembley Stadium. It is a great honour for me to be here today with His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge. Good morning, everyone. Um, as we heard in the video, uh, football fans tend to be obsessed with physical health in the game. We could spend hours in the pub talking about the injuries holding back our club's top players. And those of us who like to play ourselves get pretty concerned about how we maintain our own fitness as we, say, get deeper into our 30s. Some of us share stories about those injuries we picked up in, in our youth, which, of course, were the only things that held us back from a very glittering career on the pitch. <laughs> we wouldn't think twice to ask a mate how he was doing after he broke an arm or an ankle. And we wouldn't hesitate to talk about our routine at the gym or even our need to make it a bit more regular. But when it comes to our mental health, we, and by we I mean men in particular, often have nothing to say at all. When we see a friend that looks down, too many of us don't know how to ask if he's okay. When we ourselves feel down, we are often ashamed to say we need help. And when we know we need help, we don't even know where to start. Just like physical health, we all have mental health. Every one of us will face setbacks in our lives, and every one of us will face challenges with our mental health as a result. The consequences of this silence, confusion, stigma, and even shame, have reached a crisis point in the UK. George's Park, but for the FA, what are you doing in this space internally? Yeah, a couple of, couple of things, I think. Failing to tackle our mental health means it is undermining the success of our relationships and our friendships. And failing to tackle our mental health often has knock-on effects to how we care for our own physical health. When you don't feel well emotionally, you are much less likely to take care of yourself physically. We're here today to take a big step in shattering this silence. We're going to use one of the most powerful, unifying forces in our society, football, to start the biggest ever conversation on mental health. Today we launch Heads Up, a new campaign run by the FA in partnership with Heads Together. Ball. It's in our DNA, the highs and the lows. We know about its ability to... Over the last two years, we've been working behind the scenes to decide the best way to harness the power of football to really change the way men think about mental health. Heads Up will show men that we all have mental health just like we have physical health. Building on the amazing attitude that led England to the World Cup semi-finals, it will show us all that mental fitness is just as important as physical fitness. And it won't be exclusive to men. Plenty of women love and play football, and our England women's team is about to head off to this year's World Cup. The campaign will speak to everyone who cares about the game. Over the next year, leading up to the 2020 FA Cup final, we are going to use football's biggest platforms to get the country talking. A season-long campaign where we'll be encouraging fans to talk about their mental health. We want players to show fans how they manage their mental fitness. We want to highlight some of the ideas and solutions that fans themselves have developed for tackling their mental fitness. And we want coaches and specialists to share their experiences of how to help other people who are struggling. Your Royal Highness, why do you think that men in this country find it hard to speak out about this? I think... Um, as we found out from the Heads Together campaign, there's, uh, there's still a real stigma uh, around mental health, which we are slowly breaking down and we're getting better at it. But I think, and I think men find that very difficult to talk about, talk about stuff that really, really bothers them. I'd just like to say for the media, just one moment please, if I could just ask you to stay where you are as the press team are going to head in and head you right in the right direction.